Okay, uh, slow dive here, getting ready to play Nice Blink module. Um, currently we're in beta on Ice Blink 2 and also Ice Blink Mini. Um, this right here is the Ice Blink Mini engine, which is kind of a smaller scaled back simplified version of the Ice Blink 2 engine. Um, mostly just keep the code really small and simple, make it easier for porting it to different platforms. This, uh, I'm playing this on my phone right now, so it's an Android version of Ice Blink Mini. And I'm going to be playing this module here called the Elder in Stone that uh, Pongo has put together for us. And I'm in the process of converting his PC version of the module to um, Ice Blink Mini. So I'm kind of testing it out, so it might, it's going to have some bugs probably, but hopefully not too many. And it says a uh, three to four hour dungeon crawl for up to six level one characters. Um, it loads up a little bit slow because I, there's a lot of artwork in this that I haven't uh, embedded into the application. It's embedded in the module, so all the artwork has been converted to text information so it's a little slower but in the future i'll take all the images and embed them into the application it'll be faster that way and i'm gonna start a new it's really good artwork he's got here for his title screen i'm not sure if he's done all the work himself or if he's brought this in from somewhere else but it's really good um i've pre-made some characters because I've been kind of playing this a little bit already, but I'm going to go ahead and add these characters into my party. And that. Okay. So we've got my first character here is a human male paladin. Then I've got a human male fighter, a dwarf male cleric, elf female thief, an elf male ranger, and another elf female wizard. Six players, all right. Go ahead and start. Move that up here. Okay. You leave the dire rat tavern in good spirits. It is a filthy den of ill repute, but the ale is strong and the food is warm. You have had a fairly relaxing evening. The streets of Black Winter appear dark and empty, but they have a sinister reputation, and you feel like you've, you're being watched. You put your heads down and hurry back to your lodging near the Telfer Gate. Um, so this module, the Elder and Stone, is tied into the same setting that the Raventhal, um, in the Raventhal I mentioned, um, Black Winter. Um, so here we are in Black Winter. You haven't gone far when you hear the heavy footfalls of the city guard, their steel cap boots clanking on the cobbles. They approach you and demand that you follow them. With some reluctance, you agree to do so. The Black Winter guard have a reputation for being easily corrupted, and you have no wish to fall into a trap. They lead you through the quiet streets to a nondescript house in a poor area of town. You fear the worst, but when they show you inside, the decorations are rich and a fire is burning in the hearth. A man rises from one of the chairs and dismisses the guards. He is overweight and pale, but something in his eyes tells you he is used to respect and obedience. I apologize for meeting you this way, he says. My name is Cyril Dorian, and I am the essential of Black Winter. I am charged with protecting the city and defending the king's interests. You are in one of my safe houses, away from prying eyes. He holds up a hand. There is no need to introduce yourself, my dear boy. I know who you are. Please take a seat. We have something of a shared interest. Although you are not aware of it yet, I'll come to that. But first, you need to hear some news, terrible news. I shall come right to the point. 
I am afraid that the king is sick, dying, in fact, and quickly, too, or so his physicians tell me. Dorian leans back in his chair. I see that this surprises you. We have worked hard to keep this secret, but now you are thinking, why is he telling me this? And that brings us to the crux of the issue. There is an, an object, a legendary object, that would save the king, or so they say, according to the lore masters. The ancient Eldarin used magic stones to extend their lives far beyond that of normal men. Cyril Dorian sighs. It's probably nonsense, of course, but the king has got it into his head that the lore masters are right. And, of course, that means that we must find one of these Eldarin stones. The king has an archaeologist at court, a man called Garen Winvale. Winvale claimed to have fought, found the location of a lost Eldarin temple out in the Mithril Forest. He believed it possible that one of their stones might be found there. The king has delighted and dispatched Winvale to recover it. Dorian shifts, shifts uncomfortably in his chair. Needless to say, the expedition didn't go well. There are bandits in the Mithril Forest, and by all accounts, Winville managed to get himself captured before he even got to the temple. The king cannot hear of this. In his state, the news would likely kill him, so it falls on me to sort out the mess for him. And this is where you come in, my dear boy. I need you to enter the Mithril Forest and recover Winville from the bandits. Then travel with Winville to this Eldrin temple and find one of their magic stones. Simple enough. Aside from the bandits, you only have two problems. The first is that these bloody stones probably don't exist and probably never did. The second is Carlin Kirkmore. You may not have heard of Kirkmore before. He is a vicious psychopath in the employ of the king's enemies. And he has been sent to the Mithril Forest to retrieve an elder in stone before we do. He has taken with him a company of battle-hardened mercenaries and will tear the place apart to succeed in this mission. He must not be allowed to succeed. If a stone does exist, then it must not fall into Kirkmore's hands. The king's enemies will use it as well as leverage. It would be an unpleasant business indeed. Okay, so I'm going to skip through all this. I'll let the players go through all of the different questions. You can find out more lore. And we'll get right into the game. You leave Black Winter by night and travel to the Mithril Forest by boat. The journey takes the best part of a day. Following a crude map drawn for you by Cyril Dorian's associates, you hack your way through the forest for several days. It is rumored that the bandits travel by boat, leaving the untamed forest to protect the land approach to their camp. You find this easy to believe. Finally, you cut your way into a clearing, and in the distance you see the wooden huts of the bandit camp. Your adventure starts here. Okay, so now we're into the game, and let's see what we've got here on the screen. You have, um, so all the text will show up, you've got all the buttons here. We'll go ahead and turn our party so you can see the entire party. There's a toggle button for showing the mini-map here, or down the very bottom. There's a button for turning the grid on and off. This button right here will hide all the toggle buttons. Right now in the toggle, there's a debug mode. We're going to have that turned off for now. There's a clock, and the clock shows what time it is. It's almost a little past midnight. And the number of rations in this module there, it uses ration system, and you need to have rations to... Um, your food and supplies. You'll start to lose hit points if you don't have any. And you can't rest without them, so 
need to find some. And I'm going to keep this up there in the corner. All right. So kind of wander around here. And we got ourselves. Okay, here we go. The River Mirror Murr. Rumor has it that the bandits used the river to launch their attacks. So Pongo's got um, little bits of lore here and there throughout. All kinds of little things you can find by exploring every little cranny. The trick is, I mean, you can wander around exploring, but then you also eat up all of your time. And every 24 hours in the game world, you uh, lose a ration. So you, it's kind of a... You can run around and do all the exploring you want, but you also have to be careful. You don't want to keep backtracking too much. You'll blow through all of your rations here. Um, you have found a campfire. Resting here will consume one ration. You don't have enough rations to rest. Okay, I don't have any rations yet, so I can't rest, but... And here we go. There's a bunch of rations and some equipment. I'll take all this. And let's go ahead and equip our characters. Um, get the best armor for our paladin. And let's get that. Okay, it looks like we've got a mace for the cleric. And I don't think I'll do that. I think I'm going to go with the ranger will get the bow. And we'll give our wizard a sling. And I think that's, yep, that was all, everything we had. OK, so we got seven rations. Um, oops, starting to get light out. It's five o'clock in the morning. So you see the, the color will change here. When we get to six o'clock, it'll get a little more orange, orangish as the sun starts to come up. Boom. If you walk around, it'll eventually turn at seven o'clock normal light color. Okay, so we saw there was a message saying to something's ahead and to arm ourselves. So let's, we are armed. And yep, sure enough, we're in combat. So I'm going to toggle on show hit points and the move order. And sometimes I show the uh, stamina points or spell points, but I'm going to turn those off for now, and then I'm going to hide the toggle. Okay, so who's going first is a wizard. Too far away. I'm just going to skip, 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 skip. And I'm going to let them move towards me a little. Okay. Oh, he's blocked in. Can I attack? or Nope, too far away. Skip, skip. Now here, I think I can get there. It's three, one, two, three, yep, I can. Two, three, and then attack. No hit. One, two, three, and attack. Nope, missed. But I've got them blocked in, so they can only get two near me. Skip that, one, two, three. I'll have to skip, one, two, and three, and now I can, I should be able to attack here. The bow, nice. One, two, three. Um, let's see, I'm gonna attack that guy. I like to try and hit the same person if I can. Uh, can I get there? No, the sling doesn't reach. Yeah. Okay, but then I can 
Come over on the side here. All right. And this one will tack there. Missed. Skip. Tack there. Good. And then they go down. All right. So I'm going to hide my map here. It looks like I found a bunch of arrows and we've got six XP for everybody. Arrows, I'm up to 78 now. Still got the rations. So let's kind of wander around. So let's see where we're at on the map. So we've been over there, over there, we went down there. go across that bridge because we're probably going to walk right into the bandit camp. Let's walk around a little bit. Probably going to record these in 20 minute um, intervals and I'm at 16 minutes right now. So let's keep going with this one. Ooh. Broke through here. Tree and bush. And what do we got here? Looks like a statue of some sort. And it is. Let's stay over there, I guess. Standing in the clearing is a surprisingly lifelike statue of a man carrying a halberd. There is moss growing on the statue, and it looks quite weather worn. It has clearly been here for some time. Okay, I guess we'll leave it for now. And we got a cave. And what do we got here? Some skeleton. Oh, trait required. Creature awareness level one. You kneel down and examine the bones. This was once a massive lizard creature with a huge head and rows of sharp teeth. You shudder at the thought of it and thank the gods that it is clearly dead. All right. Oh, we entered into combat. arrangement, but we'll see if we can fix it. Oh, he only moved one. It's not very far, so we'll see if we can get ourselves in a good position here. Let's see, is this thing attack? Hey, look at that. Boom. Wow. He's probably not, he's probably supposed to move a little bit faster than one, so he's Gonna be moving kind of slow. Um, that one's not going to make it there. We'll skip that one. Um, we'll skip there. We're gonna bring that guy in. Down to six. Attack. Wow, twelve. All right. So let's see what we got. Okay, nothing down there. Over here, some bones. 
pile of blood. Ooh, and a chest. What do we got here? An amulet of constitution plus one. An enchanted amulet that increases the wearer's constitution. All right. And a sling and rations. So let's, here's, there's a bug here, equip selected. It's really supposed to say take all. We've had that bug for a while and I still haven't fixed it. But discarding excess rations, too heavy. Oh yeah, so I forgot about that. If your rations on this module are set to a max of seven. So if you find more than seven, you just end up losing that one. So it's probably best to just leave them in the chest until I've uh, used one of the rations and I can always come back and get it, but I lost that one. Okay, so I think we're at a point here. You know, I probably should be saving more often. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game there. And, but before I walk across the bridge, we'll go ahead and pause here and start up another um, Let's Play session. So let's go ahead and stop it.